This is an emergency broadcast message. I'm responding to a customer for one of the adapters that I've had. And the customer has lost the ball bearing. Or not lost it, but dropped the ball bearing and doesn't know where to put the ball bearing back. So this video is going to be a tutorial on how to remove the, the parts and replace the ball bearing if you happen to have dropped it. Now, if you didn't see where the ball bearing came from, then it's understandable that you probably wouldn't be able to find where it went. Luckily for me, I do have two identical lenses, so I can always double check and, and uh, examine the other one. This video might be a little bit slow and not quite like the other videos because I'm doing things live as it is. Um, so bear with me. There probably won't be any cuts or edits or anything like that. So this one, it's the 135 Carl Zeiss uh, sonar lens. So it's the black multi-coated version. And it's the pixel valve adapter that uh, the guy has replaced. So he's re put on one of these, starting from something like this. So the first thing we need to do is remove those three screws, those three big screws. And that's easy enough, isn't it? Always make sure you've got a magnet lying around. And I'm going to try and do this in a way that my hands don't get in the way, because I know it's not going to be ideal for viewing this. Um, I wonder if I can get the camera lower, actually. That might be helpful. Is that better? Do you think that would be better? That might be better, mightn't it? Okay. So all I'm doing is taking the, the largest screws, the three large screws. Remember to use both hands. Okay, now, what did I say in my other video? Was it the one furthest away from this pin? Because we need to take one of these screws out. And I think it is. I think it's the one furthest away from that pin. So it's this one. Do I need to change bit? I think I might need to change my screwdriver bit. I think I need a slightly thinner one. Okay. Now, where did that little magnet go? On the end of that, then. Sorry about this. I'm just looking for that little magnet. I've got it now. So, proceed to unscrew that very last screw, if I can get it in, because the, the slot on this one is slightly thinner than the other ones, meaning you need a different uh, bit. It's a very small one. Right, so, what's going to happen now when I take this off is that the metal casing, the back plate, will come off. And... The, the ball bearing, okay, there's two ball bearings. So there's a ball bearing here under the manual and auto selector. Now, if that was the ball bearing that you lost, uh, have your magnet ready and waiting. There's usually enough grease on these that tends to hold the ball bearing in place. There's like a little screw and a, and a hole there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can. So, but that's not what we're looking for. I, I'm guessing it's the other, the other one. So I'm going to remove that ball bearing and keep it on the magnet, and the screwdriver on the magnet. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my God, everything's sticking to the magnet. Sorry, I've got no organisation or anything today because uh, it's just an emergency and. I'm just doing it as is. So we've got one more. 
one more ball bearing. And it's actually quite easy to do. You just lift this whole casing. When you lift this casing, lift it with the metal parts because you can remove the iris wheel on its own. But you don't want to do that. You want to just lift the whole casing off there. Okay. Now this separates into two. And the ball bearings in between it. So carefully. Push that out. And you'll find that the ball bearing usually sticks if there's a bit of grease or anything in there. And you can see, can you see that's the ball bearing there? Okay. Now, the way to find this, really, if there's no ball bearing around, is to look for these little notches. Because this is the, the clicking sound that you hear when you select the aperture on the lens. And that's what you need to look for, really, because the ball bearing is what causes that sound. So look for that and put the ball bearing back in that hole. Now, the hole that you want to put it in is the middle hole. There's usually a tiny little um, spring inside these holes. So make sure the spring's not missing. Um, of course, if it is, you might be in trouble, but look for the, the, the middle hole there. Now, removal is just the reverse of the... Uh, oh, no. So, just put it back together. Just making sure that the, the ball bearing clicks as you move. Make sure the ball bearing clicks. Bring your lens back. Put the iris thing back on. Now, I didn't really make a note of where this was, okay? And that was because we need to line up this to that. Now, this is the the lever that opens and closes the iris. And we want to make sure that that can go over it. And then move it around till it clicks like that. And that's it. Now this part, the next part, is where we need to put this switch back on. Now I've removed the screw, another screw, I've removed the um, ball bearing, and the way to find out where this was, was by looking around the, the outside of this for the little hole. Now, there's a little hole with a little spring there, and that's where the ball bearing needs to go. So, my ball bearing is safely stuck to this magnet. I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to stick it. Now, this is actually quite tricky because it's a, a curved surface. And just lost the ball bearing but there it is on the magnet you see it's a powerful magnet best thing to do really is to is to try and position it like that when i'm holding it upwards and then maybe push it down push it down into the spring well, that didn't work did it magnet time i think it is quite tricky okay we'll try a different way We'll try it. So how, how would that be? Like this. And that would have to be like that so that the lettering is facing facing the back of the, the camera. So imagine if you're sat on the camera and you're looking at the lens. You don't want the lettering facing away. You want it looking towards you. Now I'm just trying to take the ball bearing off the screwdriver. <laughs> it's so small. And magnets are very sticky things. Okay, so back to this. Didn't have a problem doing this before. There's a groove in the selector switch. Now I'm going to put it in the groove, line it up and squeeze it into the hole while, while I've got that thing there. Will that work? It does work. Okay, so that might be a, a method for you. Yeah, that works. So the ball bearing is back in there because I put it onto the groove and slid it into the hole. Now I'm going to line this back up. This is an original M42 mount. So I'm going to use put this 
this pin part over the the uh, little aperture thing and push it down. Now I haven't looked at one of these lenses for quite a while now actually. So I don't think I'm doing too badly at the moment. Now does that work? See that pin going up and down? You know it works if the pin is going up and down. Great. So all we need to do now is put those screws in. Now I would recommend putting putting them in in the same order that you removed them. So I would say the small screw first. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm just guessing that that would hold everything in place while I'm while I'm uh, you know screwing in the other bits. You do need three hands, ideally, but you know. And sometimes magnets, they, they can actually get in the way. I mean, look at this. Got in the way. You can see I've got quite a dirty worktop and I've put a piece of cardboard there because it's just inevitable that these uh, little screws and ball bearings will just drop everywhere. So precautions must be taken. Now, this is tricky because I'm partially aware of the camera right in front of my face. Yeah, there we go. I think I've got it. Almost. Do you know what? I'm right-handed. I'm holding the thing with my left hand. <laughs> holding the uh, screwdriver with my left hand, so it's a bit harder. Let me just switch. That's not... Any different is it? It's really fiddly this. But hold on a minute. Yeah, it's it's a lot harder when you're trying to video things. That's my excuse, okay. Why won't it go in? Now I think it won't go in because it's not lined up to the hole. It needs to be there. There we go, it's going in. So that's in place. The next screw is going in, a large screw. It's going in. Now if you have a pixel valve adapter, this is exactly the same, you know. Uh, so if you've lost your ball bearing, that's where your ball bearing, those are the two places that you're going to have ball bearings and that's how to replace them. I probably didn't do a brilliant job at that. Um, I mean, I haven't looked at this lens for a few months and, you know, that's, that's it. We've done it. So if, if I had lost that ball bearing, the ball bearings would be in now. I'll just show you. So we've got the automatic manual selector. The pin is held down by this adapter at the moment, but there's the aperture. You can hear it clicking. So that is what to do if you lose your ball bearing. I hope that helped. I hope it was an okay video for you.